Hello my digital nomads and in today's video where we will explore the benefits of AI image search on 123rf.com. Now for those of you who don't know what 123rf.com is, it's basically a digital marketplace for creatives where they offer a library of photos, stock, stock images, vectors, videos, audio, fonts, for anyone who needs to create digital graphics or digital products. Now let's continue. With the advancement in artificial intelligence, intelligence technology, finding the perfect image has never been easier with use this feature. Now let's drive in. The first thing is the AI image search feature, which is very unique because um, a lot of the AI tools on the market just simply focus on creating AI images. But this one right here, it, also has an AI image search feature and what you do is you you sign right up and once you sign right up you go to photos let, let me show you that real quick all right so you si simply go down to AI powered search and it says get the right image faster with our new AI powered search now this is important because depending on where you live and how the law is operating within your country or your part of the world you may want to go with just stock images because the law is clearer than when it comes down to AI generated images the law is kinda slow to catch up when it comes down to technology and you may if you want to be on the safe side if you're using some kind of uh, graphics or producing something that's high publicity or you just want to have peace of mind uh, there's nothing wrong with going old school going with an image a stock image because the rights are clearly defined that you know you have royalty rights you can reuse it for whatever the, 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 the law is clear so it saves you a lot of headache later on and, and that's why I really recommend using this uh, AI powered search because as you can see you can type in something like this and you get something very specific Afro-American teen drinking iced coffee in Chicago and it's very very specific it's almost as if it's AI generated but these are stock photos so you're safe and not legally exposed okay so th th uh, that's why I would recommend using this and it, it's amazing you, you can make it very specific now uh, just to be clear it, it, it makes finding I images a lot easier you don't have to search through tons and tons of, of images for the, the right one you can type in, you know, let me change this to, instead of drinking iced coffee, let me, let me go ahead and change it to, let's see, drinking tea. Okay. Now, it would take me ages just to find that image. And, um, yeah, uh, they, they have it where you can't tell. Like, you know, so here you go, tea, drinking tea, drinking tea. That that right there, that, that's it, that would take me, I don't know, maybe 30 minutes or more just to just to scroll through and, and find so with this enhanced AI image search you know it, it saves you time because you can basically find very specific images that you, you need All right. and let's go with let's change the race okay try Asian American team All right. And they, there you go. It, it's it's amazing. <laughs> this is a game changer, and it saves time, and it also it, it um, allows you to get the images you need quickly without having to search through tons and tons of stock photos, and uh, or worry about the legal implications of using AI powered, you know, AI generated images. So that's that. Let me also go into. Um, the host. Okay, so who would this who would this be good for? Uh, it's pretty much it's good for people who are professional designers or a business owner looking for visuals uh, for a website, social media post, and it allows you to focus on basically creating good content. So instead of having to you know, kill 30 minutes here, looking, looking, looking for this images, and then, you know, looking, uh, you know, 20 minutes here, looking for another image, and then adding it together and arranging it. You speed up the, the time that you would searching for these images, and you could focus on creating 
content. Uh, you can create, you know, just just a better better focus on your content. And, and uh, for me, I I definitely like this because I I really hate going through image after image after image just for the right one. I just rather have an AI go ahead and 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 you know find it for me, and then I just pay for it or you know allow for the royalty rights. I, personally, I'd rather pay for it because it it just saves a lot of time. I know those of you, you know, some of you are like, oh, you know, you can get it for free. Um, why, 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 why go through all the headache of possibly, you know, getting into legal issues? Why not just get royalty free um, images, use the AI tool, and and save your your downtime. The other thing is it's accurate. A lot of these image search engines, uh, I don't want to <laughs> be mean, but a lot of these AI stock image databases with the generic search, it's very inaccurate. And it's frustrating. That, that, that's that's the, pro the problem with a lot of the, the, the time that's wasted. It's not accurate. And it, it, this is genius. Having an AI image search feature built into the image database, it, it's so simple. And I, I, I'm kind of ashamed. I didn't think of it, but it, it works. And it, it saves tons and tons of time. Everyone's focusing on AI image generation, this and that. Why not just use Why reinvent the wheel? Use stock photos. That's that has clear, clearly defined rights and and uh, you know clearly defined uh, stock like royalty free rights that you can use, and you don't have to worry about any of the legal implications. And it's just it just works better. It it, it works. Uh, you can find your images way quickly. But in the next feature, it also has for those of you who need something completely creative, it also has um, AI in image generation as well but the main thing is this feature right here is very very hard to find uh, I, I haven't found it anywhere on the, on the internet yet maybe maybe it does exist but I haven't found it I think it's it's very very nice the other thing that you can use it for is image discovery if you're just going going ahead and you want to play around with an idea and you're not sure to take something uh, how to take something tangible sorry uh, intangible and make it tangible and make it concrete then this is also good too so le let me give you an example of that so let's say I'm I don't know I, I'm trying to make a flash card for or for studying something like um, maybe vocabulary or maybe something like uh, I don't, abstract like I, I, I want to know that something like love um, yeah, some, something like love, love, may, maybe like a word that means love, to love a person, okay? Something very simple. You just type an abstract phrase like that, and the AI will go ahead and search it for you and try to make it into a concrete image, right? So this is just a simple example, okay? And... and it allows you to explore different concepts. So I use it as a maybe image exploration tool, right? And then from there, kind of develop it further. Or I just also use it straight up as what it was intended to just use it as an AI image, uh, sorry, AI tool to find stock photos for me. And all in all, the experience has been great. I don't have to worry about, you know, any kind of issues. Um, I don't have to worry about any hidden fees. Everything is really clearly defined. So if you want to go ahead and check this out, I'll leave a link in the description below. So you can go ahead and check it out for yourself. I'm Vince from Digital Nomad, Nomad Institute. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.